Hi guys, welcome back to the Player YouTube channel. Yes, we're on none other than Tesla. And the reason I'm here today is I am picking up my Model X. I've been dying to get my hands on this car, so without further ado, let's get inside and go and check in and let them know I'm here. Oh, it's cold outside. I am so excited. I mean, coming here to Tesla is just amazing. You just gotta look around this place. The cars are absolutely stunning. And I can't wait to get my hands on the Model X, which is right behind me. This is the showroom one over here. Let's take a look at it. This is finished in a lovely white, but I've actually got a blue one, just like the color blue. Check it out, guys. How nice is this? And we're actually gonna get drive one of these and take it away today. Oh, so excited. Right, let's get the keys and let's get out of here as quickly as we can. Guess what, guys? I've got the keys. I can't believe it. Tesla Model X, here's my baby. Look at that, it even senses that I'm near the car. So all you have to do is just touch the button, apparently. I've had full instruction, by the way, and the door opens for you. Oh, man, I cannot wait to get in this car and drive it home. And then we'll take it out on a road test and we'll film it all for you. So let's get in it and go. See you later. I've been in your world. Right, well, here we are. We've just arrived at the Travel Lodge at Birchhanger, which is just off the M11. And it was the app that brought me here. We were down to about 11 miles on our range, which was getting a little bit hairy, but we knew we were gonna make it because the app is brilliant. Let me show you what the app does before I show you about the, uh, these, this is a supercharging point. So I'm just gonna unlock the app. So basically, when you buy one of these cars, you get a Tesla app, and it's very, very simple to use. And here, as you'll see, if you go location, it will tell you exactly where the car is at any given time. The fun part of that is when you don't have use of the car and you lend it to someone else, you always know exactly where they are, even when you're in hospital. We'll talk about that another time. So let's go to charging. So there you go, you can see it charging now. And it tells you how long it's gonna to take to give you a full charge. I mean, we have literally pulled up here and it was 11 miles. I'm up to 43 miles. That's how quick this thing is. It's pretty amazing and you can stop it charging pull it out it's a very very simple process and you have an account with tesla obviously and that's where they charge you for the electricity that you use um let's crack on because i need a coffee uh crew need a coffee as well and we'll let this charge up and i'll come back in a minute and tell you how quickly it managed to give us a full charge okay so for all you range anxietists let me just put your minds at rest we popped into uh, an anonymous coffee shop, which just across the road from the charging station over at the Travel Lodge, where we were a minute ago. And we've been here 25 minutes, which is the time it's taken me to drink my coffee. And in that time, we had 11 miles when we pulled up. Um, I'm just reconnecting the app now, and you're gonna see in 20 minutes, and I'll show you the screenshots, because I screenshotted everything. I've got 211 miles of range in 20 minutes. So no one write in and comment and tell me that these aren't brilliant because they are. Let's get back out on the road and do the review. And um, yeah, they do good coffee, yeah? The Tesla Model X. Well, what can we talk about? What can we say about this car? Loads. Let's start with the power. So there are two electric motors and between them they produce 484 brake horsepower. That is humongous. The 0 to 60 time on this, I mean looking at it, it's a bloody heavy car. It's got to be the best part of two, two and a half tons. 0 to 60, 4.8 seconds and if you get the P version of this, 2.8 seconds. That is complete madness. Top end, well 
that you'll have to do a little bit of discovering on because Tesla won't even tell us what the, the high speed is on this car. But I know it's really fast and totally illegal in this country. Get it out to Germany and give it a go yourself. Beautiful car. It is probably the fastest, best, you know, one of the best SUVs in the world. Um, it comes in as an all-wheel drive car, but that's not to be mistaken as a four-wheel drive car because I really would not want to take this off-road. However, let's get around it. Let's get up front and sit inside it and give you the feedback on what this car is like and whether it's worth 80 plus thousand pounds. Around at the back of the Model X, well, it's a pretty good looking rear as well. You get this uh, lovely spoiler across the back. It's also a nice brake light that's inset into it as well. You get some nice chrome bits and obviously the Tesla badge, but there is new exhaust, so you don't get any big tailpipe sticking out the rear because it's an EV, an electric vehicle. Let's take a look inside and you've got an electronic assisted tail lift. It's quite spacious in here, even with all six seats. And this is, you have the option to have in seven seats. This one's got six. Uh, we've got it configured as the six purely because we needed the extra space for the camera equipment and stuff. But you can buy extra seats as and when you want or when you order the car initially. Um, so six seats it is at the moment. Um, it's, they're very easy to operate. There's a little button there and then you just push them forward and down they go, simple as. And there's another little button on there, as you see and push it forward now that is quite a lot of space you got in the back there i'm guessing that's probably around about four five hundred liters of space there's loads of space for the passengers but we'll have a look at that in a minute when we sit in the back of the car itself let's check out what we've got in here well you've got like a satiny chrome uh, scuff guard there but it is plastic so that's not going to last five minutes that's a little bit of a downer and i think that's a bit poor quality on behalf of tesla over here you've got a 12 volt adapter that's a good one we need those and underneath here you'd expect a spare wheel but there's no spare wheel in there there are the electrical charging cables that you do require on occasion when you pull up on a charger and it hasn't got its own charging cable um, or if you're at home or borrowing a friends and you need to plug in the 13 amp but most of those chargers have got their own cables so don't worry too much about it it's just very handy to have them in there um, let's jump in the back of the car and show you how comfortable it is for your passengers 